another one. Chilling with my boss at the mall. So this one goes. <laughs> I ran into my boss at the mall. I just experienced one of the one of those really awkward moments that I think many of us fear, but never actually expect to happen. Yesterday, around 3 p.m., I was out at the mall when I bumped into my boss. We started off with some light conversation, but then things took a took a surprising twist, a surprising turn. Before heading to the mall, I had left my PC on with a mouse jiggler to keep my status as online on Teams. However, during our chat, my boss decided to look up my status on Teams right then and there. He saw that I was online and immediately got furious. Wow. He confronted me about being out while my status showed I was working and turned into a, it turned into a very uncomfortable situation. I think he caught onto my scheme. I have a business update meeting with him on Monday. I am going to call in sick. Oh my, you, you, you know it's going to happen, right? You know it's going to happen. You're fired. 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 Congratulations. You played yourself. All right. So we're not going to spend a full five on this one, but what are you guys doing out there? What are you guys thinking? And then like my guy, the test lead, he released a video yesterday, I think it was, talking about being overemployed. What is overemployed, right? When you guys are going and getting, you know, two, three different full-time jobs where you're on the clock at the same time and stuff like that. And I always, like, I always wondered, like, how do people balance these meetings when you're doing this? Like, how do you have the time to work multiple full-time jobs? Unless you're working eight to five for one, and then you're working like, I don't know, seven to whatever other time the other one, which is tiring. But if you can do it, then you can do it. You know, maybe you're working one job on a UK time schedule or China or J Japan time schedule, and then you're working the other one in US time schedules. But what, like, this is like, when you hear all these people getting laid off and stuff like that, oh, you know, lay off here, lay off there, all, all these tech companies laying off people. And, and, but they know what you're doing. Like, you're not slick. If you're not, like, if you're, if you're not providing value, if they're not, if you're, if you are not being compensated for the work that you do. See, a lot of times in tech, though, a lot of times in tech, it's more about getting the job done, getting the task done, and, you know, then like, oh, you know, you have to be at your desk looking at your screen from this time to that time. There's a lot of flexibility. But the problem is when people abuse that flexibility, that's where the big problem lies. And I think like, and, and, you know, and a lot of people talk bad about Elon Musk and his work conditions and stuff like that. But just the other day, Google let, let out a statement like this, like Google is a business. And we're here to work. We're not here to protest and riot and all that type of stuff, right? We're not here to cause chaos. We're here to work. So if you violate your terms of work, see, you guys had it easy like the past, the past few years when, when um, you know, you can get away with anything because when all the companies are like, you know, super woke and stuff like that, you guys would be running around saying, we're not going to do this, we're making demands, what, what we're not going to do, right? You know, what we're not going to do. But now they're like, all right, look, the, the, the economy is not what it used to be. We, we don't have all this, this free government money anymore. We're broke. We broke five broke. Right? So we need to make it like you guys got you guys got to show up to work. And now you're, you're like at the mall. I mean, here's another question. What was your boss doing at the mall? <laughs> what, did he have a mouse jiggler on too? But, you know. This is like this is this is why we fall into and this is why I don't feel sorry for y'all. I don't feel sorry for y'all. You know? I gotta get your act together, right? Anyways, let's take out of me at 9:30. Let's wrap this up. Let's run through the comments real quick, and then we're going to wrap it up. So, shout out to the people trying to scam their jobs. You, you PPP loan 
scanners and uh, scammers and stuff like that. No, you guys are all the same. If, if you're cheating your company, you're cheating the government, you're going to be found out and then you're going to get a, a, a performance improvement plan or they're just going to fire you straight up. And then they're going to try to call in sick. And guess what? You are going to get fired while you're sick. And then you're going to go on TikTok and you're going to be ranting saying, if TikTok is still around, right? If TikTok, TikTok is still around, you're going to go ranting saying, oh, they fired me when I, when I was sick. No, because you called in sick because you were scamming. That's what it is. I would say a majority of the people and they're making all these excuses. That's, that's what happens, right? They were scamming. They got caught. They called in sick. And it's, oh, they called me out. They, they, they fired me when I was sick. No, you, they fired you because you were scamming, right? Anyways, NT ways. let's wrap that question up. We are done. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos. Enigmatic joke.